Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be looking at question four in the January 2022 CSEC physics paper, right? Right, so in question four here, the first part, they want us to define linear momentum and state its SI units, right? So first things first, linear momentum. So linear momentum is the product of a body's mass and velocity, right? So that is what linear momentum is, and we normally write that as P is equal to M multiplied by V. So that's what linear momentum is. Now, if P is equal to M multiplied by V, right, in terms of units, right, mass is measured in kilograms and velocity is measured in meters per second. So the SI unit that they want here is going to be kg ms to the minus 1, right? That's my SI unit for linear momentum. Now the next part says state the law of conservation of linear momentum, right? So um, the total momentum before collision, right, is equal to the total momentum after collision provided that no external forces act on the system right so this is what the law of conservation of momentum um, linear momentum states right so three marks just for stating that the next part a truck of mass 945 is heading west right along some highway it slammed head on into a car traveling east right so make sure you understand your directions so west is this way east is this way so the truck is traveling west so you need to draw a simple diagram to understand what's happening here so you have your truck that is traveling west right and that is 945 kilograms right um so i'm head on at 20 meters per second into a car traveling east right so we have a car Right, and the mass of the car is 630 kilograms, right? But in terms of velocity, the only velocity we know is that this, the truck is traveling at 20 meters per second. So the truck is traveling at 20 meters per second, right? That's what we know. Now, the first part of the question, they want us to work out the initial momentum of the truck, right? So we're gonna use P is equal to M multiplied by V and your mass of the truck is 945, right? Now, whenever we are dealing with momentum questions, we usually use a sign convention. So what I normally do, anything traveling eastward, I, tr I take it as positive, and anything traveling west, I take it as negative. So therefore, I'm gonna use my velocity as minus 20, right? Um, so that's gonna be 945 multiplied by minus 20, and that's gonna be minus 18,900 and this is kg ms to the minus one right so so that's my answer for that part even if you don't have the negative sign you're going to still get a mark right that negative sign is going to come into play further on in the question right so if both vehicles come to rest after the collision right calculate the initial velocity of the car so remember we had the car was traveling this way and we don't know what that velocity was Right, but we knew the mass. The mass was 630. So this here was 630 kg, and the truck was doing this. 
truck was traveling at 25 and it's nine sorry 20 so the truck is traveling at 20 meters per second and the mass was 945 kilograms right so we're gonna apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum so your total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after right now your total momentum before we have 630 this is, this is the car multiplied by V we don't know what the velocity of the car is plus we need to add the initial momentum of the truck we worked out that already so we can put minus 18,900 so this is minus 18,900 and this here is equal to your total momentum after now they said both vehicles came to rest after the collision so if both vehicles are at rest it means that the total momentum after the collision is zero so this is going to be 630 v minus 18,900 is equal to zero so 630 v is equal to 18,900 so my velocity here is going to be 18,900 divided by 630 so V is going to be 30 meters per second, right? So that's what I'm getting for my answer here. I'm getting 30 meters per second, right? So that's the velocity of the car before. Now they said the velocity of the car increases from 20 to 45 in 10 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the car. Now acceleration is given by V minus U divided by T. So that's your final velocity, which is 45, minus your initial velocity, which is 20, divided by 10. So this is going to be 45 minus 20 is going to be 25, divided by 10. And this here is going to be 2.5 meters per second squared, right? Because this is acceleration, and it's 2.5 meters per second squared, right? So this is my answer for question four. So please hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, right? And those interested in um, CSEC physics lessons, right? You can contact me via WhatsApp on this number here, all right? Take care, guys.